surface toilet facilities here at the beaver trail if you need to use it it's a compost loo shows you what it goes Buzz up. Arthur. Usually, I've got two. It is. Oh, that's Yeah. 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 And they have reintroduced beavers here. Apparently very elusive, uh, if you know anything about beavers. And really hard to spot, so. Hello. Don't you? So if you want to do if you want to do the Napsdale walk potentially spot beavers then you need to follow the red trail and it's signposted from the car park main car park there's actually two car parks you can visit the this little centre and they talk to you there, the volunteers talk to you there about the beavers or oh, you can park in the car park further down between the two small ponds or pond and lock and uh, you have to pay three pound for all day parking there, all pound an hour So this is Dub Lock, it's got beautiful views. This is the small lock. There's lots of dragonflies. You can hear them over there. Dragonflies. Got a boardwalk here guys. Do love a good boardwalk. It's a proper one this. It's chained on guys so we're not float away. This is like an open boardwalk, it's just hold on with chains. That was an interesting floating boardwalk and uh, the wife says that's in her top 10 favourite boardwalks of all time and she's done some in Florida that were really impressive look at the rock look I mean that might be done by machines but I don't know depends how long these have been here for found a bit of a run here Possibly deer, possibly badgers, and some poo there, could be a fox. Bit of a scramble down there though. But then there is other ways down as you can see. It's really warm today. Really warm, lovely. Perfect weather for this. A 
what's good so far about this trail is we've come across zero people. Are there any walkers so far? This is Nord. So beavers have a good time on this. Which tells me the colony's around here somewhere. It's now right up to the woodland. It's quite a thick woodland. There's a picnic area up here somewhere. Oh, I've come upon an ancient wall. Loads of rocks up there. And we're climbing up. So when you get exactly halfway around the trail, there is a picnic table. I've seen evidence of beavers, but I've seen no beavers. Terry. Terry, is that an Irish? Put in the comments. Who's Terry? Terry Travels. Terry McGeary, the Scottish traveller. He will know. Oh, I found some ruins. Some broken ruins. Viewpoint. Yeah. Right, guys, we're heading down to Kilmory, which is the old abandoned settlement. So in the old settlement here, we've got a marker, and then the well, there's a well here, so that would have been open, and it would have gone that way. Yeah. That is a genuine, genuine well like this, this old settlement. Any luck? Yeah. 
quite getting quite boggy. Amazing, you got all these homes here. Abandoned. These all these abandoned properties. Apparently, there were possible evictions at the time when they were evicting local people off the land. I think there were originally 12 settlements here and then you've got the well down there which you've just seen but I can only count one, two, three, four, five, six, six buildings perhaps, maybe seven. I think it could have been 12 settlements I suppose. So what we have in front of us is the Kilmory Oib remains of this once thriving settlement built in the late 16th century it was abandoned 300 years later the communities who lived here were farmers and fishermen utilizing every inch of their rich landscape many of the homes and places of work within this community were used for sleeping, cooking, spinning and socialising and there were some other structures which were for keeping cattle safe and warm during the winter and they used to grow corn in nearby fields and they used to use circular kilns obviously there's a well which I've just showed the well There was a sculptured stone beside it, which I've had a look at. No one knows what the well was used for, but the stone indicates a Christian presence over a thousand years. The amount of beautiful streams here that make absolutely beautiful stunning shots. So, so far we've seen no beavers, no squirrels and no deer, but We've had a nice walk, we've enjoyed it. Okay, we're about round to the lot now, so we've been opening. Nice steady walk through the tree line. This is a Second World War War Memorial, by the looks of it. Five people's names on it. Look at the details on that. Oh, there's some for the First World War as well. On this side. a lot of names on it. There's a Campbell on here. John Bain, John Campbell, John Darrock, John Fletcher, Duncan Graham, John Gray, Duncan McDougall. Thank you for watching today. Please remember to check out the playlist so you can see all the fun adventures we had here in Scotland. And a massive thank you to the God members of the channel. I hope you go and check those channels out and at the end here please remember to check out the playlist and subscribe if you're new here. Thank you.